I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Carrie. And welcome, welcome to, to Movie, Movie Talk. Talk. The show where you have real talk about real movies and entertainment news, highlighting up-and-coming producers and independent films. In the first part of the show, we talk about new movie releases and box office results. In the second segment of our show, we share our personal segments that we feel make the grade, of course, with our indie picks. So get your popcorn, sit back and relax, and enjoy Real Movies with Real Talk. Welcome to, to Movie Talk. We're here with our guests, Mickey and Andrea. How are Hi, you? Hi, ladies. How are you? How are you? How are you? Pleasure Thank to you. have you here. Definitely. Pleasure to be here. Thank you Thank for having you. me. So, Mickey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an independent filmmaker. I have a company by the name of Leisure Films, LLC, and it's been... I actually opened it in 2012, and what we do is we produce um, short and um, feature-length narrative and um, documentary content for okay. independent filmmakers. So what got you into doing that? Well, I was always interested in <laughs> film. I was always um, an avid television watcher growing up, and you know, just kind of being around colorful people colorful characters that kind of inspired me to want to write stories, you know, that were inspired yes. by them. Definitely. So. so we have Andrea. Hi. Hi, Hi Andrea. How, how are you? you? Good. Can Good. you tell Good. us a little bit about yeah. yourself? Well, I'm a playwright, so a little bit of a different world. Um, so I love being on a s big fancy set with cameras rolling because <laughs> Most of my time is spent in a dark theater. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, so I write plays and musicals, both. And um, uh, I have some plays coming up, so. Good. So who's, yeah. who's a playwright who's inspired you? Oh, I know boy. there's probably yeah, there's countless a lot. ones. I mean, there's a lot. I would say Carol Churchill, Tina Howe. Wonderful. Oh, I love um, Tina Howe, one yeah, of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, but many, many, yeah. So are both of you guys in the New York residence area? Yes, I actually live in Harlem right now. Okay. I live in Harlem too. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. See, I was born in Harlem. Harlem. Okay. You met some neighbors. You didn't even know you were neighbors. Okay. All right, there's three against one here. You're, you're cool. Oh, am I going to be like I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> my my co-host, she fits in anywhere. Don't worry about it. That's me. exactly, there you go. <laughs> I do, actually. You do. You do. So that's great. So tell me a little bit about the clip we're going to review that you have. Well, it's a demo reel. I actually, I, I'm a writer, a director, and a producer, and an oh, editor. Excellent. And these are short films that I produced through my company. Um, they're um, different genres, okay. you know, because I'm actually interested in different genres. So I, you know, I, I have eclectic taste. So you'll see cool. that the demo reel is actually all these different things kind of put together. So just, you know, so you be prepared. It's we have dramedy, we have um, experimental drama, and we have fantasy. Oh, oh wonderful. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Get to see a range. Yes, yeah, so you know what? You. Let's take a look at that. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Hey, yo, 
Vanessa supposed to look like? She's in love. <laughs> Excuse me. Leave that woman. Hey, hey, hey. I got this. I'm trying to show you something. What does being in love look like? Rachel, wait, wait. So I like to watch, you know, comedies, dramas, horrors. So I think that probably kind of prompts me to want to tell different types of stories. And, you know, I'm involved in a lot of different aspects of filmmaking. So I think, you know, is this, is this a part of who I am? So if there was a director that you could work with, who would that be? Um, there's several directors. Um, I think Sid Sidney Lumet, he passed away, but I'm yes. a big fan of his work. Um, a lot of the films from the 70s, like Dog Day Afternoon, Wonderful. Um, Fantastic. Um, yeah. which I enjoyed. Um, did he do Serpico? He did. Yeah. He did. I, I just, Al Pacino was in those films. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like a lot of those movies because they were very character driven, mm -hmm. and the, the main characters weren't perfect. And I think a lot of people could relate to you know, these different types of characters who, are, they are the hero, but they have flaws. Right, that's what she's saying. And so you can be flaw. empathetic to mm -hmm. them. And, you know, it's just, it's just um, the 70s influence, I guess, because I was born in the 70s. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe that's why I, I enjoy that. And living so. in Harlem. And living in Harlem. <laughs> and living and in well, Harlem. No, actually, I'm from Queens. But oh, oh here we go. So there's the a Queens connection between us. <laughs> all right, so we have to have. I was born and raised in Queens, yeah. Kind of all over the place. I, I lived in Brooklyn for a bit, too. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, But that's that's the important thing. Part of being human is being flawed. Yeah. And that's what essentially makes interesting characters and conflicts and drama, mm -hmm. whether it's theater or film. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and theater. What inspires your... Film write your script writing for plays. Yeah, I would say, well, you know, a lot of what, like Mickey's saying, it, you know, it's, it's um, uh, you know, characters that I, people I've met, uh, you know, or worked with, as well as, you know, obviously from my imagination and and, um, you know, I'm always interested in characters who are. Um, my characters are always very dissatisfied with life as it works, you know, with the, with the world and how it is and yes. how things are run. And they're always kind of rebels and trying to, trying to change things, y usually for the good. Yeah. Usually for the good, although sometimes they're, they might end up with a bad outcome. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yes. But, mm -hmm. they're, but they're, um, their intent is to make things better. But, uh, but I, yeah, but I tend to, um, and I write with a, you know, a lot of humor because I think and, you know, any situation, you've got to find the humor and the tragedy Absolutely. within yeah. the situation. So I try to do that. That, that actually Both. connects with all the audience. Everyone's yeah, trying to. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, Shakespeare used the trick of you, you make them laugh and then you punch them in the stomach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if there was an actor that you can cast in one of oh your boy. plays, you mean think of a film actor? Think of a film actor? Um, or, or, or it could yeah, be actor. both, film yeah. or yeah. theater or both. Yeah. Uh, um, well, I'm, we're actually casting right now for a reading that I'm doing of a play called Straight of Gibraltar. Naked Angels is doing a reading of that play on March 2nd. 
Um, and so I've worked with Jay Smith Cameron, who's a fantastic stage actress, who's, who's also in the Sun Sundance show Rectify. She plays the mother in Rectify. Mm -hmm. And um, so Jay, uh, Jay and I have worked together in the past, so I'm hoping that she'll be, uh, maybe be cast as the mother in my for my new reading, um, but we're in the middle of casting right now, so it's it's early to say. That's Wonderful, so, yeah, it's so exciting. Mickey, how do you cast for your films? Well, you know, um, now that we have the internet, we actually um, the producer that I'm working with now, she's a producer writer um, by the name of Beverly George. She lives in Virginia. Okay. So, the last project we cast, we actually did it online. Well, at the time she was in Pen Pennsylvania, but at that time we cast online. And a lot of the submissions were, you know, we gave them a side of, you know, what we wanted them to read. And they videotaped themselves and sent it in. And oh, okay. we kind of broke it down that way. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yeah. So Very helpful <laughs> <laughs> technology right now. And for you too, Andrew, in, in, in the Broadway? theatrical area do yeah. the, how do you, they cast do they cast well y yeah usually you work with a casting director, casting director who then brings people in uh, usually it's in person uh, just because it's theater so you want to see the person in person um, but you know but it but it you know it depends I mean certainly if, if somebody's in LA which people might be in LA making television then they can send you a video yes, you know definitely. so it just depends on where people are yeah. so let me ask we are all ladies sitting here we mm -hmm. are like women power in the film business <laughs> <laughs> So, what are one of your favorite movies? Well, you know, it, that's hard because I like a lot of different things. I like sci-fi. I mean, as far as the um, different genres, I would say I would probably like dramas more. And the recent film that I saw was Nightcrawler. Did oh, you, did, oh I have wanted to see that with Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, I didn't see it. I have wanted to see it. I've heard some good things, good. and he dropped great. a lot of weight and yeah, did his I mean, whole character was, transformation. The first off, the script, um, the, you know, it was kind of like a it paid homage to Network. If yeah. you familiar with well, Network, another yes, Sydney, I am. Sydney yes. Lumet yes. film, and um. It's just this character, he was so, f he was very flawed, obviously. <laughs> he was somebody He was willing really to take it to the lim beyond the limits, yeah, beyond yeah, TMZ, exactly. to go get his story. Yes. Exactly, and this, the producer who he worked for, you know, he did his, he would bring in the news um, for this producer, and it, it's like her morality kind of goes out the window because <laughs> her thing is she wants to, um, you know, rise up. She wants up. everything. She to be wants the to best. keep her yep. job, and mm -hmm. she's a, a woman, um, an aging woman, and you know the odds are against her. Exactly. It's so really it's about demographics. It's a, it's about ratings for her. So she, you know, just pretty much no holds barred. Well, I mean, this all brings out the dark side of journalism. Yeah. Exactly. And the dark side of media. Like how much is this, of this is really true? How much is wag the dog? How much is network? Exactly. Yeah, and you know? and what's cool about, like I said, what's cool about it is it, it's, it's a social commentary on the media and how much it control it has and um, it's, you know, what's, imp like as a filmmaker, you, you pay, you have to pay attention to story, you have to pay attention to, um, you know, that's most important, character, the main character, even if you don't like the character you got to want to spend two and a half hours with this. And find even some shred of humanity because <laughs> yeah. everybody, even the most heinous, heinous person, has yeah. things that make them human. Exactly. Yes. And, and things that you can identify with. Correct. And mm -hmm. even in Jake Gyllenhaal, who was the star of the movie, even in his character, you could kind of identify with what he needs, what, he, what he's trying to do. You know, he's trying to rise up. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all trying to do. So. Exactly. Really good. And Andrea, for yeah. you, what well, I would say, well, I would talk about, you know, you were talking about Birdman and, and oh, uh, one of my favorite films. You were you as, well, as, a theater <laughs> person, as a theater person, you know, and I went with a, f a composer friend of mine and we mm -hmm. just loved being in, you know, that world. Yes. And, um, and the uh, chick's going to pick yeah, that Yeah, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. And to bring I, in dancers, even, yeah. it evokes a little bit of Black Swan with. Um, I know. <laughs> I know. I love that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So that was great. Yeah. Birdman. Um, as far as Birdman, I saw Birdman. I enjoyed that too. And as far as. Do you feel like the theater people look down on the movie people? 
Oh, you know, it's funny. <laughs> no, you're like, wow, Nikki, you, you were, you old, played, um, thank yeah, you, wow. Or the other way around, or the other way around, but I mean, I think it's, I think that's sort of an old school idea. Right. Um, but I think today, not at all. You know, mm -hmm. most of my playwright friends write for television. Yeah. Um, or film, you know what I mean? I think it's much more fluid now. Right. I think what's hard for us in the United States is that the, that Los Angeles is so far away from New York. I know in London, mm -hmm. because everything happens in London, yeah. right. there's more fluidity. The everything. There's yes. more fluidity right. across yes. theater and media, you know, so I, you know, I mean, I don't have any prejudice myself. I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to write for, for film, and I have written screenplays, and I'd love to write more for film. I, yeah. I, you know, I mean, I think those of us in the theater have a particular love for the live experience. Yeah. Um, the but, media is immediate. Yeah, the yeah, response. yeah, but, but I'm open to it all, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done it all too, so. Yeah, yeah. Birdman yeah. was, um, actually, my, my son who was 18, he told me, mm -hmm. Mom, he goes to the New York Film Academy, he said, did you know that Birdman had no cuts for, for oh, filmmakers they, yeah. were editing I loved something. how it was photo I loved yeah. how it was shot yes. uh, it kind of made you dizzy I yes. loved how it was shot yes. so, yeah it was it, really it, good it had a lot yeah. you know mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. and their acting was good too. the acting was yeah. really yeah. good very good yeah. very good yeah. Yeah. And yeah. my co-host's favorite movie is Boyhood. Okay, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Boyhood. I see her. <laughs> no, you said that too. I liked Boyhood. Birdman I liked Boyhood. and Boyhood. I like Boyhood. I, I put yeah. Birdman. I think a little bit above that, and then Boyhood. Yeah, yeah. no, I liked Boyhood a lot, and I have to tell you that I read nothing about it, and I ended up in the movie theater. Somebody took me, so I I knew nothing. Oh, interesting. So I was like, it was only after maybe it was maybe after the the third time shift that I went. Oh, <laughs> I get there it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite movie was Get On Up last year. I loved Get, get On Up. I loved yeah, Get that On Up. Yeah, that was really good, too. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that actor. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was in 42. Oh, yeah. yeah. He Excellent. did a great job. He is. I love yeah. So, yeah. you know what? I love you guys on set. This is yeah, really fun. this has been fun. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. ladies, we can Gavin. spend more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That film in yeah. theater. Yeah. 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 Mickey, yeah. can you let the viewers know where they can find you? Well, I'm a, I'm actually on Facebook under Leisure Films. It's spelled with a Z. The reason why it's spelled with a Z is because someone else had an S, but it's L E I Z U R E on Facebook.com, and um. You can find me on Vimeo under Mickey Holiday, M-I-K-I, -I, last name Holiday, H-O-L-I-D-A-Y. Some of my works, some trailers that I've done for other producers, um, you know, they're all on Vimeo. So yeah, I watched okay. a couple of those again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And Ms. Andrea? Yeah, so I, well, I've got a website, which is um, www dot Andrea, which is A-N-D-R-E-Y, Lepsio, my last name's strange, L-E, P as in Peter, C-I-O. You have to put the P next to the C, even though you don't want to. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> well, guys, it's been such a pleasure having Thanks. you. It's been so great having you guys. So fun. Thank you. So fun. And we'll you definitely have show. you guys yes. back. Oh, um, yeah. New productions and trailers so we can Great. share with the viewers. Thank and you. What you've been up to. Yeah, and we'll have you guys yeah. on our website. So any of the yeah. viewers that are looking to get in touch with Mickey or Andrea or with Movie Talk as well, you can reach us at...